key smoke Doral's. We just needed one piece. And now we're starting to get all these pieces. It was hard not to express yourself to the community and to your family because we knew that we had to keep this quiet. But in reality, we knew that this was something huge for us. Welcome back to my channel. That is a bit of a video I'm watching. It's a murder documentary. Crazy. I wanted to, I know my cabinets are open. Don't judge me. I just heated myself up some macaroni, some vegan macaroni with some hot sauce and I'm gonna eat and talk to you guys. It's early in the morning. Sometimes when you just need something to eat, you just need something to eat. And I'm gonna give you guys a rundown of the future of my channel. Okay. So. I definitely am gonna do hauls of stuff I buy. Grocery hauls, all of that. Hair tutorials, better better recorded. Um, more piercing videos. I want to do videos, maybe like a tattoo tour. Um, I'm gonna do art videos, DIYs. There's gonna be tons of stuff. I'll do story times. I could even tell stories I watch. Um, and tell you like we're friends, you know. Like you're my friend. And I'm drinking seltzer. I love seltzer. I have acid reflux and GERD. Fun fact about me, I have tum tum problems. So, cheers. Grab your drink. And now drink. I hate when people burp on camera. It's gross. Um, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but I wanted to tell you guys just a bunch of random stuff. A little random video I'll upload. Why not, right? So, I've been watching a lot of murder documentaries recently. Um, because I used to watch them all the time. And then I just dropped. And I was on YouTube, just watching YouTubers. It's a back and forth thing. And then recently I've been just on Netflix. So I'm trying to... Be... Doing everything. But... I want to do more makeup videos and hair videos and I want to buy like nice wigs and dye them and do hair braiding and stuff like that. Um, I want to practice cornrowing and box braids so I can kind of have styles for every texture of hair so I can do, I give tutorials to everybody. Um, more seltzer. Okay. Anyways, I want to do cooking videos. I love cooking. I love baking. For me, um, I hate doing the dishes. Ugh. But I love it. And um, there, there's some simple things you can do, like a quick vegan fact. A lot of puff pastry does not have butter in it, but some of them do, so make sure you check. I roll, I get the puff pastry. Or have someone else get it for me. And I roll it out. Roll it out. My French Canadian's coming out. And I roll it out, and then I take some cinnamon, sugar, and butter, and I mix it, mix it, mix it. And then I roll it on there, and you roll it like a cinnamon roll. But, my issue is, I don't like putting too much butter and stuff because it oozes out and makes a whole sticky mess you gotta wash. Ugh. But it makes it like flaky. Um. Puff pastry is very flaky. So, like I was saying, puff pastry, especially the frozen ones, sometimes they're very flaky. Um, I'm not a huge fan of that myself, but, you know, I, I roll it out so it's not as thick and flaky. You can take like frosting, you can buy it or make it, and lightly, you know, spread it. Take strawberry jam or strawberries very finely, cut them, and then you roll it. 
Um, I remember when I made a strawberry shortcake. Oh, it was like a roll in my baking class. I loved it. She, I loved my baking teacher. She was amazing. She would always like, she would let me have another semester with her. She like really understood me. She was really freaking nice too. And we would sit there and um, she would give me recipes and like get all the stuff for me. And we bring it home and she would give me like um, pans and cookie cutters and stuff to keep. She was really great. She knows how much I loved baking. And then I went vegan, vegan and it was a little harder to like figure stuff out. I still don't have it all figured out. Trust me. <laughs> like I made something I was so excited and it all like turned hard and crunchy and gross. And I'm like, how did this happen? It was the sugar I used. It was so annoying. So. But I do like baking and I love cooking. I like making like I like making meals that fill everybody up. I like making stews and I love making like taco rice. I I um I freaking love sushi. I'm gonna give you guys it might sound weird, but do this. So it's um you take peas, like sweet peas, and you mash them. You drain them and mash them. And you make rice for the sushi. You get seaweed or nori. Um, pat, like the sheets. And then you put some soy sauce, garlic powder, a little bit of honey in there, salt, pepper, onion powder. And you have it cold. And then you press it into the... For me, honestly, I even used it with warmer rice, not hot, but warm, and it made the sushi soft so it like could get stiffer, and it, that was fine. And I, um, I rolled some thick rolls. Oh, they were so beautiful. I rolled like seven doubled rolls because there's so many people in my house. Um, and it was good. So you, you crush sweet peas and then you put a little bit of mayo in it or something to make it creamy. And for me, mayo is sweet vegan mayo. I, since I'm vegan, it's vegan mayo. And then <clears throat> just like vegan soy sauce, like not soy sauce that has like, I don't know, art, art, no, not artichokes, that's a vegetable. Anchovies or something in it, uh, in my opinion, you can eat it, but. And um, ooh, excuse me. And then season them. And you season it with a bunch of different things. You add something to make it creamy. Like you can add a little bit of mayo. In my opinion, I think it's really good. And it's a great substitute. Or like cucumber and avocado. You mash that up. The avocado, not cucumber. Ew. <laughs> and then you can make the roll. Carrots, all that stuff. And then you roll it, and it's so good. I dip it in sriracha mayo. It's really good. Um, I just want to do a lot of a lot of videos for you guys. You know, gotta make sure you gotta take care of your teeth because I want to make sure I didn't. I done something the wrong way but there's a couple crazy cases I've lost I'll tell you about one of them this girl pays for her husband to get murdered for no reason she tried to send him to jail first but then they didn't arrest him um, he was a felon and then the first she had a boyfriend make it so he would sign the house to her husband would sign the house in her name not his and this whole thing so then the gist is that she got the house in her name then he she deaded that one boyfriend and then she goes to another one and says i need you to kill him her husband so then this one boyfriend was crazy but he did go to the police they said either the police or he went to somebody who was an undercover cop and then the cop and had it recorded this girl's talking about him getting murdered this whole thing and then she's like i didn't do anything wrong they're lying this isn't true this isn't true and he's like i saw the tapes myself and she's like no it's not true and then 
the, the narrator like think of the think of you're in jail and the last person who would want to hear from you you call them like or it was something like that like the last person you would ever call you call she called that guy mike and then she's like i didn't do anything wrong you need to give me a lawyer um you need to give me a lawyer you need to give me a lawyer i didn't do anything they're treating me like crap bitch <laughs> there's a videotape of her talking about him getting murdered and how she's gonna pay him a lot she set up cocaine in his car like you're crazy <clears throat> and everyone's like oh she shouldn't get prison time for a mistake because then she thought he was dead and so she was crying like acting and then the cops take them there and she's like I want to see my husband, like, because he's dead, you know, and then they're like, that's not a good idea, and then they're like, you're actually under arrest, the games are over, you're under arrest for, um, solicitation for murder, and she's like, I didn't do anything, I didn't do anything. The gist is, I think she's free now, she was in jail, and then she's free, and she's on talk shows and stuff about how she's innocent, and... This is all his thing to get fame. Stupid. You saw, you did it. He was heartbroken. He said he didn't get to see his dad in prison. Cause, oh no, he didn't get to see his dad because of his trial. I hate that. I was like, that's horrible. And then... I used to watch mukbangs, mukba mukbangs, 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 however you say it. I don't like to offend people. I never thought I'd be able to eat on camera, but this is my channel, so if you don't like it, go fuck yourself. And I'm going to take you guys on journeys with me. I'm going to watch mukbangs all the time. I've watched Trisha Paytas do them before she became very controversial. Um, <clears throat> I used to watch Nick Akato before he became, you know, crazy. Um, I watched, um, recently I was watching The Ghetto Vegans and I would love to do mukbangs and mukbangs, mukbangs with my family. I don't know if all of them would want to do it, but. Um. It's like eating in conversation. Let me think. I used to watch Megan's mukbangs. I'm actually not doing them anymore. I would watch Stephanie Sue. I used to watch Steven Sushi. Steph Pappas. Um, I got into Veronica Wayne. I wasn't gonna watch her because I didn't because Nick didn't like her and I was a really Nick, big Nick Agato fan. I even paid for him to give my sister a cameo for her birthday last year and then the day after when that whole drama happened. Um, I was so upset. I was like really? His cameo was a hundred dollars. But we loved him. I watched him every day. By myself with her all day. So it kind of sucked, but yeah. So yeah, it sucks to see that they aren't doing them anymore. I watched um, Eric Galatri do his challenges. I watched Stephanie Buttermore. Oh, I loved watching them, and then I stopped. Um, it was just, it was a lot of drama in that community at the time. I used to watch, um, not Divine Mungies, I think it was. And she, I loved her channel too. But then all this drama happens, I'm like, over it, you know. So yeah. Not huge fans of. I I watch them. I want to start watching them more. 
but there's gonna be a lot on my new channel not my new channel <laughs> my channel when I move there we go um I like to DIY a lot of clothes and I want to be able to do that more in, like art videos I could maybe like record digital drawings like record it and do a voiceover telling you guys a story time or something like a lot of crazy stuff happens honestly people are like oh you're gonna tell them stories and it's like thanks so yeet and that's all I kind of wanted to say um and I did t I took one of my piercings out because the way I slept on it completely irritated it and um it got all irritated and um I think it was starting to migrate so I said it's not worth it and I took it out so I have a little boo-boo there but it wasn't infected or anything I cleaned it out obviously now I'm gonna clean it before I go to bed before I'm touching my ear um but maybe I'll do cosplay stuff that'd be fun I'll do it on me on my, my sister hair dye videos, stuff like that. I could do everything. Be very fun. Um, as always, guys, I love you guys. Thank you for the support. Um, I'll do like skincare videos, stuff like that. But I really do want to get into like wig stuff too because I love wigs and hair tutorials. My thing is I just need people to be more comfortable making videos. This is my nephew's Dennis blanket. <laughs> um, maybe gaming videos too. I like playing Roblox sometimes. It motivated me to play more. But yeah. And some pep talks. I don't know. <clears throat> Look at the nail polish my mom has. It's really pretty. Okay. So, I wanted to say that I love you guys. Stay tuned for what this channel has to bring. Like I said, right now my stuff's a little lower quality, but I feel like all the videos I end up watching, which are about hair piercings and stuff, they're always, um, what the heck? My cat's crawling on my chair. They're all this quality. <laughs> Most of them are. But I promise I'll do my makeup sometime soon, guys. And I need to dye my hair. I still haven't dyed it. I've been putting it off because I don't know what color to do. I have somebody saying, do this color, do that color. I just don't know. I wanted to do something with pink. And then everyone keeps saying blue. But like my hair is already all blue. So. I don't know. But I love you guys. Have an amazing day. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm a little tired, but... It's whatever. I'm gonna go to bed after this. And this documentary that's almost over, but I'm probably gonna watch another one after. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys have an amazing day, night, morning, evening. Stay safe, wear your masks, and as always, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.